So I'm here with uh, two-time Ironman 70.3 world champion Michael Raylert. And uh, Michael, you're gearing up for a very competitive race, but maybe you're not feeling so well right now. Uh, at the moment, I feel a bit, yeah, I feel a bit sick, but yeah, I still have 12 more hours to go, so I hope I can turn it back into a, yeah, into a healthy way tomorrow morning. And so yeah, I'm looking forward. Now, last year, I know you you struggled with a little bit of disappointment with the with the injury. Are you over that now and, and training well and everything? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm pretty, f so I really uh, focus on this race, and so this is why I'm a bit disappointed, and I don't want to get this cold, get to my mind, but yeah, of course, right now I'm, I'm, I'm back in shape, and the last results at the end of the year, of the, la of the last year, showed that I'm on the right way, and so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually back. Yeah, rumor has it this is the only way it's fair to the rest of the field for yeah. you to be sick. Uh, <laughs> it's just a rumor, I reckon. <laughs> no, the, this is, you know, obviously such a competitive field. What does it mean to have someone like Lance Armstrong in the field and to be racing against him? Uh, to be honest, it's good for the sport, but in my personal opinion, I don't really care. You can put Michael Jordan or Michael Phelps in this race as well. I race for myself and... I won't race even faster or slower with him, but it's good that he's here, that he's racing, that he supports our sports, and yeah, I'm happy for him. And yeah, but at the end, I, I race for myself, and he's one of 50 guys in the race, and yeah, there are no names on the t on the back, so it's good for him. But yeah, I won't race any faster or slower through him. Now, um, you know, everyone's talking about this being such a uh, people biking so fast you know you've got Sebastian Keenley you've got Lance Armstrong you've got uh, Marino Van Hohenacker uh, for, when you come into a race like this are you trying to or are you thinking I want to stay with these guys on the bike or are you saying you know I'm one of the fastest runners in the world they've got to really get out and get some time on me uh, to be honest I'm always happy if it's a strong field so I'm I'm more than happy if it's getting more competitive and even faster, faster guys come to the races. And so, to be honest, I reckon I'm a good cyclist as well. And I, sh I proved myself in a couple other races. And so tomorrow, yeah, I hope I can stay with the, with the big guys. And at the end, yeah, I hope I can outrun them. But at this point, yeah, I, I, I still I hope I can go with them. Yeah. I don't want to hide myself. And, and finally, you're getting ready for... Your first Ironman. I know you were so disappointed you couldn't race in Frankfurt last year. This year you're uh, gearing up for Regensburg. Are you excited about that or a little afraid to go double the distance? Uh, not really because Kona is a big goal. Kona is uh, my aim for 212 and Regensburg is just a little step. Last year I really prepared for Frankfurt as a, a main goal. But this year, Regensburg is my qualification race for Kona, and of course, I put focus on, but not, not as I did, not as I did last year for for Frankfurt.